All right, folks, uh, let me give you that uh, polling information before we get back to the panel one more time, and we'll put it up uh, on the screen. And if you want to weigh in, should President Obama give amnesty to illegals? We'd love to hear from you. You go to uh, Newsmax.com slash poll, Newsmax.com slash poll. All right, so tomorrow we have the, um, I mean, yesterday we had the horrific terrorist attack. Tomorrow we have uh, Obama speaking to the nation and laying out his executive order. Then on Friday, we're learning that the grand jury in Ferguson is likely to conclude their deliberations and possibly have an announcement as to whether or not they will indict uh, officer, the, uh, the Ferguson officer or not. Columnist uh, for Breitbart.com and American thinker C. Edmund Wright and Newsmax contributor and host of The Right Side on Newsmax TV, Armstrong Williams, back with us. Gentlemen, just as a sidebar here, much like um, a group put a bounty on the head of George Zimmerman uh, early on before he was even charged with anything, now we have a report of a $5,000 uh, bounty, if you will, for someone who will give information to this group called RBG Black Rebels, um, if they could give Darren Wilson's uh, address to them and uh, lead them to him. Um, let me start with you, Armstrong. What could we expect on Friday or whenever this verdict comes down? You know what? You don't think I'm crazy for the first time ever in our history. <laughs> I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if Al-Qaeda and ISIS, some of its um, extremists, are just sitting by and siding um, and to take advantage of a situation like this, and it becomes explosive. When you hear about the kinds of things that are going on with these groups, and it's so, it sounds so eerie, I'm telling you, it could be a pot of cake, and it could be, a, you have no idea how they may be playing this to their favor, to get what they wanted for a long time, to create something that's going to have so much attention, because they want to go to places where they can get the best bang for the deadly killings and the massive, and the, and the massacre that they leave behind. And I'm telling you, Ferguson is a prime time target for them. It frightens the living daylights out of me. That does. What about it, uh, Edmund? Yeah, I, I don't think Armstrong's crazy. That's not my prediction that it's going to be an Al Qaeda or ISIS event. Uh, I suspect that uh, Darren Wilson is not going to be indicted, and I suspect there's going to be some significant, uh, you know, riots as a result. Um, you know, I saw a cartoon today that was perfect. It said uh, uh, Obama's racial fire department, and the, the truck was filled with gasoline. And I think when you look at how he and Eric Holder have handled this and the way they, you know, some of the other folks might have handled it, unfortunately, I think that's my take as well. You know, I, yeah, well, you know, you know I was, uh, Armstrong, I was going to say, you know, you're not crazy. There's a report, um, and, and I'll see where this is from, on foxnews.com that Muslim groups have stepped up efforts to co-op protests over the fatal shooting of Michael Brown um, using social media, conference calling, and traditional outreach methods. Uh, leaders from uh, CARE uh, and others uh, are trying to bring this, uh, this uh, Palestinian sympathizer pastor who was killed and try to incorporate him into this. So you're not far off at all. Listen, let me tell you, a couple of days ago when we spoke uh, last week, I told you I had absolutely had no concern about violence or anything. But when we started hearing and doing our research and you see these strange signs and people appearing that no one knows who they really are, something is going on in Ferguson that I don't think any of us are prepared for. Wow. All right, let's move very quickly, 30 seconds each. Um, uh, Armstrong, the, the, the fact that uh, Mary Landro couldn't get Keystone passed, what does that, what does that mean? She was dead long before Keystone. She could not win if her life. Oh, I know. She would have lost anyway. I know that. But what is the party? What 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 does this say about the Democratic Party? That they are still controlled by the man in the White House. Edmund. Well, even more than that, they're controlled by Tom Steyer and his billions of dollars and and some of their other huge donors who do not want Keystone. They don't want America to have any of its own energy or any of its own energy independence. All right. Good job, guys. Great to talk to both of you. Armstrong Williams, watch him here on Newsmax TV. The Right Side is the name of his show. And, of course, uh, see Edmund Wright. Read him at Breitbart.com and American Thinker. We're coming back with Gimme Five. Don't go away.